Hello world! Wavetime here, bringing to you a new series that I'm starting. Now, as many of you know, I am, of course, the maker of the EE Power series. Not too popular at the moment, but I'm hoping to change that. And, well, it's pretty much over, and I'm waiting for Season 3 to start. For Season 3 to start, however, Minecraft 1.3.2 and all of the mods that are attributed to it have to be updated. What I'm personally waiting for is something called the Feed the Beast Mine uh, Mod Pack to come out, which will probably take a while, but I'm hoping to, you know, make get each of the mods manually installed before that comes out. But, in the meantime, I'm still on Minecraft 1.2.5, and I bet you guys are rather bored. So, to help alleviate your boredom, I'm going to be a little insane today and try for the Feed the Beast Insanity map. Now, just a little warning, I'm going to try to get as fast of a time as possible, so there might not be as many episodes, but there will be equally as many idiot moves that I will do. Hope you guys enjoy! and let's jump in okay so the rules of this thing are pretty much that you're not allowed to destroy anything in the starting area nor are you allowed to destroy anything on the monument area over there we just have to jump in here press the button count to five and then drop see never fails now to start off with, what we're going to need to do is plant our sapling right away to get as much time with that as possible. You know what I forgot? I forgot to get the bee stuff over there. I guess I can get that at a later date. You know, just pillar up there at my own will. But, well, that's not technically against the rules. I am probably allowed to go back up there even if I haven't died. But I might need to die to be able to do there just for fun. Hey, I'm gonna, probably going to die anyways, so might as well make a show of it. You know, let's now jink ourselves, jinx ourselves, get down to the nether portal, eventually find a way to pillar up when I get to the B part, which, frankly, we're not even there, so why am I trying to complain or anything? Get to the nether portal and see if we can do anything. Jump down! Da, 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 ba, ba, da. Okay, entering the nether. Now, this is the last gift that we're ever going to receive, so we should spend it wisely. Okay, got our... Well, our pickaxe actually is in the correct place that we'll want it. For some reason, I like it in the number two slot. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad, Way That sounds really bad. Anyways... Since we have a bit of time before I cut worth the recording, I am Way of Time, maker of the EE Power Series, and I am here for your enjoyment, and this water is starting to be annoying. I'm going to try to get this run as fast as possible, so I might be a bit of a nuisance to some people if I, you know, don't articulate as well as I possibly should and in fact articulation let's lower down the sound ah heck with it stop talking way get to the top here we are at the top of the world well at least the top of this piece of bedrock so let's turn this into a piece of cobblestone and place it down first things first we'll want a cobble gen so cobble gen activating and Getting our first piece of cobble that we have miraculously generated from magic. Don't worry, it's clean magic. What we're going to want to do is wait for our sapling to grow. We want to grow it naturally and not go through like some sort of process of, hey, um, I need magic, because we're going to need to save our bone meal to put in a transmutation tablet which we'll eventually have. Now, I'm not entirely sure with the placement of how it is right now, how long it will take to grow, 
but hopefully it's not too long. La -di -da -di -da. So what I'm going to do is wait for that blasted sapling to grow and maybe not have all of my cobble go into the lava because frankly this is starting to piss me off. <laughs> See you in a moment. Okay, it's taking honestly a really long time for that sapling to grow and well, I feel like it's going to start raining soon because, you know, my luck with all that. I'm hoping eventually that if this sapling uh, grows, I know I'm saying if, that I'll be able to get another sapling afterwards because the random number generator tends to screw with me in these situations. Like, for instance, I was playing one of Vex's maps a while ago and, well, Let's just say the sapling didn't drop anything for me when I uh, asked kindly. And, hey, look, rain. Who called it? I did. Anyways, it tends to screw with my mind in the fact that, you know, it doesn't give me saplings when I want saplings. Since I want saplings ri right now, it won't give them to me. <sighs> I am going to watch you until you grow. Nope, I need speedrun. Anyways, so I'm thinking of a few ways to generate EMC that we can use. I'm not going to use the exploit exploits. I actually talked to Slowpoke personally to ask which are valid uses of eh, EMC generation and all that. And he said that milk farms are allowed. Hmm. Now what I'm thinking of is, no, that won't work. Okay. Haha. <laughs> stupid thought for stupid people. Anyways. Now that will, hopefully, we will get this grown. Because there's only so much cobble smashing that I can do. But considering that, I think the uh, shortest confirmed run on this was 53 three hours I think and a bunch of seconds and milliseconds on all that but eh, that's pretty much it <sighs> you know if this thing doesn't grow I'm not gonna be happy okay so it hasn't grown yet and what I'm thinking is that we have this jungle sapling and it might be a good idea to plant it to see if that will grow maybe that won't actually be a good idea second thought because jungle saplings don't have as many leaves so if I was to do to do that I'm not as likely to get stuff anyways what we should probably do is maybe take a jump down back to the nether and take a little uh, build a small platform maybe get some pigmen to spawn on it and wait for that blasted sapling to grow and lag is probably going to kill me so I should take it a bit slower. Oh that was quick. Close, close, close. Let's get back up. Get back up. Okay here I am in the nether. Let's uh, build out this way and what we're going to do is like place 25 blocks away so that we'll be able to get a nice collection of those angry pigmen to run after us. Now the reason we want pigmen to spawn right away is because they have a much higher chance of dropping all of those lovely 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 uh, gold nuggets and yes I did see that the, we have some spawned already near the nether portal. I want to have a nice little that little big area which with which we will be able to fight and uh, let's try anyways if they run off no armory okay okay only one survived and we only got uh, rotten flesh anyway so we should probably elongate this slightly and as I was saying, golden nuggets drop a lot more readily than iron 
ingots do from zombies. I'm not entirely too sure what the reasoning of that is, but it also means that also, if you didn't know, that all those iron stuff only drops from zombies if the player killed them. So that'd be the only way to get them, and any mob trap to try to do the same isn't going to work. Now it seems that the nether does not like my PC for some reason, and the fact that it's kind of making the middle jittery, but oh well. Let's continue to do this for a few minutes, I'm guessing until the 15 minute mark. Hey, you're angry already. And we got a gold nugget. What we could do is probably stay here for a while since 227 is a good amount, but we're going to need our sapling to grow. So, I'll go up the water again, hoping that the sapling will grow. I'm not too sure, and I don't find it too likely. Also, pillar of lava, very neat. Okay, oh, that's good. It looks like our sapling actually did grow on our way back up, because things don't actually do anything while you're in a different universe. <sighs> Funny how stuff like that happens. Anyways, we should... I'm going to initially break these and hope that, oh, God, 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 we're on fire, we're on fire. Like, stuff like that doesn't happen because, you know, tree on fire, especially since it's a starting tree, is not always good. And we got a sapling. Yes. So, now that we have saplings, we'll be able to add this to our transmutation tablet when we finally make it, of course. We're going to have to get to that point where we're actually making it, though, so we have to hang tight. Getting as much of our glorious, glorious, glorious wood, because, you know, we cannot live without our wood. Let's uh, make a furnace. Place it down. And get some of our wood. Now, we should plant this again, and thankfully nothing harmful has... Uh, spawned yet. Uh, let's get some wood, throw these in, and I think two will be good. Now we have a gold nugget, that's good, but I don't think it's really enough for any of the things that we'll want to be making in the future. Um, just throwing it out there, we're going to need to eventually... I did make a list prior to me recording this of all of the stuff that we're going to need, at least for the first four challenges, though I don't think I recorded the name of them. I'll go back over to check them each time, but pre-recording them is always a good thing to do just so that you'll be able to, well, understand what you're doing. Now let's get a bit of cobblestone. I think that's enough, and, ooh, accidentally dropped one of my saplings, that's not good. <sighs> okay, that's enough cobblestone, we should make it into smooth stone, because we're going to need to make our transmutation tablet. Now, our transmutation tablet is going to make things a lot easier, though it will probably be difficult to get everything started. I'm thinking that the best way to do things is to simply just make everything uh, make a lot of trees yes a lot of trees a lot of trees will be a good thing and to make things a little quicker we'll get an axe because you can always ask me a question yes I stole it from somewhere I'm not telling you where because that wouldn't be as fun okay smooth stone check Getting the right recipe? Probably not, but if we put this and this and this, this, transmutation tablet. Yay. Too bad it's not portable, though we can rectify that at a later date. So, we got this. We got also rain, which is annoying, but we can teach it a various amount of things. Because I love teaching them various amount of things. Uh, sigh. I cracked myself up. At least we got the major things that we'll need. So all of these, all of these, all of these, and for fun we'll teach it the axe. So that we'll be able to make things a lot easier. Now what we're going to want to do eventually is 
make all of the items that we will need for our challenges. Now, we need quite a few things. We're going to need an iron chest, and is the most expensive thing that we need to start with. But what we should start with is turning this all into cobble so that we can expand outwards and uh, make our jungle tree grow. Uh, not make it grow, I don't think I want to force grow it because frankly we have enough time. I'll just place it down and we'll just uh, bone meal this thing up. Okay, now the reason I like to start with spruces is pretty simple. They the highest they grow is seven. Seven is an ideal number to start with because, well, seven is a magical number. No, that's not the reason. Seven is good because when it grows up, uh, let's get that. When it grows up, what you're able to do is cut the first two, jump up, and then cut because you have like a maximum reach of six. So that was actually a seven log. So it works well. You're just able to do that, transmute it as much as I want, and we're slowly generating EMC. Now, in a perfect world, what we do is have multiple trees and gather up all of their saplings as they fall. This isn't perfect at the beginning because we need as much EMC as possible. Darn stubby little seven trees. And I don't like using oaks either because they have many, 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 many branches. Or branch eye. I'm not sure what it is. Branches, pretty sure. Anyways, let's cut some wood. Now, let's see. We still have the barrier of the fact that everything is split into either fuel or matter. So, we're going to have to find some way to bridge that gap probably early on. Eventually, we'll go for, like, the be all end all thing of what is it called an alchemical chest now the upgrade the alchemical condenser yes that's it the alchemical condenser will be able to change everything and it will be used for milk farms and etc now sorry if it is boring at the beginning all feed the beast maps pretty much start the same way there's not much to change about that but I'm hoping what we'll be able to do eventually is make some sort of mob trap that will make this a lot more efficient and I can probably make it you know fun now I know for a fact that do not build a mob trap that way because it's a tundra over there from my previous experiments tundra equals bad in that circumstance because well Water freezes, the only way to not have it freeze is to use light, and that kind of makes the mob trap ineffectual. So let's see, I'm thinking that we can stop with this, and we might be able to start a little on a mob trap. Not sure how much of an EMC gain it will be early on, I haven't really done any math, but I'm hoping that it will be enough to make things fun. So, fun starts with getting 10 of each of these, so that we'll know what we can do and what we can't. Let's just make some of that stone first, because stone, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot smoother. I wonder why it's a lot smoother. Hmm. Also, inventory management, the click up of up, ah, bleh. Can you at least speak correctly, Way? Yeah, thank you. With a click of a button, you can make everything better. Okay, so mob trap. Getting as much EMC as possible at a early stage. I'm thinking one of the things that we'll eventually need to make is a quarry. And not one of the fun red power quarries. Just one of the plug-and-go uh, build craft quarries. Those aren't as fun. But we'll need to make that because, uh, you know... No, you don't know. Why am I trying to explain this if you don't know? <sighs> the reason we'll want to make a buildcraft quarry is because it is one of the desired things that we will need. Now, from my estimates, it will require 
two uh, gold gears, two diamond gears, two iron gears, and a gold pi uh, uh, diamond pickaxe. This is far enough. And what's our level? Not 194. That's that's enough, honestly. Now, what I'm designing is a simple fall trap. So all the mobs will fall on this location and will be dead. So we need to make it pretty much, uh, what is it? I think it is 24 high. So 24 high is pretty high, so we have to make it as good as possible. Now let's see, we will want a door. So pick those up and our door will pretty much go there. So to start off with, we'll have a fall trap. We'll need water, so we'll need water buckets. We don't have buckets right now, because I don't have a server. It's a horrible joke, but we'll need to build this as much as we can, and we'll also... Oh no, what is it? Um... Yes, way you cannot think it's... What are we at? Like... 10. Now we are. Ah, we're gonna need ladders to be able to service this because we can't fly. Flying would always be fun. Ah, let's just do this, Eevee. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Geronimo. Because I like rotten flesh. Deal with it. Okay, so now that we know how high we need to do this, let's get as high as we possibly can and maybe I should have thought about how we're gonna get down I'll think of a way actually it's about the same height of our fall that we did to enter this map so what we can do is just fall but we don't have any food and that would be a problem and I guess I'm gonna have to uh, dig my way down that'll be fun anyways I'll finish this uh, pillar and be right back. That was quick. Anyways, so let's just make a little idea of what we're going to do. We'll eventually want to go back down because, you know, high heights, high heights, high hopes, high death toll. Anyways, so hmm, what we'll want is a water channel method to bring all of the mobs this way. And I think water flows a total of eight blocks, so eight is how far we're going to need to go. So eight over here. And we'll start with that, then it'll need to go over here. And go back here. Now too bad there's no way to pick up that water currently since we don't really have a bucket, which honestly is a bit of a problem. But eventually we should get enough EMC to be able to make a bucket. Now, we should start with one floor. One floor is what we'll need to do to start with the design. But we'll need mobs to fall into this trap to start off with. Now, a nice little arch to keep things organized. And honestly, I think the best idea would be to get down as soon as possible to get some food because we are out of food you know what would have been bad if there was like one block more I would have just pillared myself off into the oblivionness which frankly would have been bad okay we're gonna need more food and actually what we can do to solve that situation is just make another tree make a bowl put the bowl into transmutation tablet and make some soup Soup, soup, soup. Soupy, soupy, soup. Bowls. We got a lot of bowls. Learned. Learned of I. And we got mushroom stew. Okay, good, good, good. So teach this. Eat up. And we're actually full. So put this in. Get a bit more and then we'll have a bit more for later and we're good huh family interfering anyways um, okay how much EMC do we have we 
don't have much, honestly. Okay, uh, 32 each. We need, what is it, 256 for, actually we need a lot more than 256. We need over a thousand. Uh, 2,000 EMC to be able to get enough. Oh, look, Creeper. Creeper, come down here. In, or <laughs> in order to get enough for a golden ingot. Now, we need golden ingot because that's how we'll be able to transmute it back down to iron and be able to pick up some of the water in which we'll be able to then transmute it and make more waterness so that uh, the creepers will be able to enjoy a nice water park ride that we will be providing for them. I am sure they will be mighty happy and will adore us for creating such a wonderful masterpiece. Uh, so let's see, we have 32 uh, wood per, uh, 32 EMC per wood. So roughly we need uh, that 64 per 2, and that means we need about a stack of wood, I think. A stack of wood for this, uh, for one golden ingot. So if we just get a stack of wood, uh, we should be good. Stack of wood to be good. That works. Haha. -ha. Now. Let's see the other things that we need on our list. Now let's worry about our list when we actually get to the monument because we're going to need to visualize the list so you know that I'm not a cheaty pants. Because cheaty pants deserve to be burned. And breaking your own sapling is a wonderful idea way. I don't know how you see such ingenuity to be able to construct something like that. Speaking about construction, what we should do is make some torches. That would be a wonderful idea. There we go. Torches gang made. Ouch. <laughs> uh, if only trees weren't such in a such a hurry to grow. It'd be like a holiday. Okay. 46 wood. I think we're almost there. Sapling. Sapling! We're almost there to be able to make uh, eight more golden ingots. I think actually we're good. So let's throw all of these in. We still don't have enough, do we? Hmm. Two more. That's not too much of a hassle, actually. Two more, and actually... Ah! Budgesicles. Yay! Okay, we're good. Two o four eight. Who do we appreciate? Okay, so we got our golden ingot. That's nice and lovely. Now what we can do is transmute it into iron. Iron being the preferred choice of buckets, because how could bucket function without water? Okay, got that. And what we should do also is capture the lava because we are going to need this sort of bucket for later. Okay. Got the water. Uh, what we should do is just manually refill it and take one EMC, which should be enough. Now we should get an infinite water spring up there so we won't have to continually go back down, but also a good idea to make sure we don't have to continually go back down would be, you know, uh, ladders. Ladders would be the preferred choice of locomotion. Okay. Now to cause a commotion with our locomotion, we can make a bunch of ladders with this. And they're 14 each, if I am not mistaken. Good, 14. Let's get enough ladders to satiate ourselves. And it's raining samplings. Yay. Okay, come over here, creeper. Ha ha. And you aren't being fun. Ooh, look. This is why we want to make a mob trap. Because a lot of glowstone will be good. Now, the way to transfer glowstone into matter... Uh, did I say glowstone? Uh, gunpowder. The way to transfer gunpowder into riches 
is pretty much there's only one way. We have to change it into TNTs. Actually, we can make it into torches, but that's not as fun. Now, this is a stupid way to get up there, but it works. And let's go back down again. And that is lovely. That is a lovely, lovely thing. Oh, thank you. Bye. See you in hell. Okay, so before we stop and smell the roses, I had charcoal. Why am I such an idiot? We got torches. We got four torches. That's good. So let's get some more torches and make our mob trap. You gotta make it as eco friendly as possible. Eco friendly. <laughs> it's like a commercial. Anyways, um, what we should also do is probably make another transmutation tablet so we'll be able to easily get back up and everything. So take a bunch of our ladders. We'll need to make a few more. Just actually, we already use as many ladders as we need for these, for these, and we can make our transmutation tablet yet again. I already had stone. Stop making life so complicated for me. Goodness gracious. Okay. So learning the tablet again. Going up and maybe we can work on the first layer of all of this. Hopefully. Without exploding. Exploding kind of sucks. Speaking of which. Hi there. I am Lindsay Lohan and that sucks. Wow. I pressed escape out of reaction, but managed to get the ladder at right here. Oh my goodness. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, it's better to be lucky than smart sometimes. Uh, if only I would be one of those two. Okay, let's get this, that, and actually try to explain what we're trying to do. Okay, water here. That's good. Burn this, get that, more water. Good, and it reaches just at that point. So all the mobs eventually will drop into the water and be absorbed by its awesomeness. Now I know there is a bit of a glitch with if you have like no corners on the floors. So I want to make sure that I avoid that as much as possible. We're going to want as big of a mob spawner as possible so I'm thinking something along this size ah oh, crack it's not at the right level and we lost that okay <sighs> let's try to get the first layer done before we make a complete goof of ourselves we won't have the top on it but that's not too much of an issue right now so one two you gotta be freaking kidding me Ice planes? Fudge nuggets. Okay, guessing this way is not the way. So we're gonna have to go this way instead. Who would have thunk it? Okay, I'm gonna pretty much do the exact same thing that I did over there. And it will be nice and rosy. Too bad I don't have a rose to illustrate it. That'd be fun. Now, I'm not a master of mod spa mob spawning mechanics, so if you are, you can correct me when I am finished speaking. That's the only time you're allowed to correct me. If you attempt to do it before, a face will come out of the screen and slap you across the face. A face will come out of the screen. That sounds painful. Anyways, pretty much my understanding of the mechanics is that... The mob will only spawn when it is 25 blocks away, bounding box. So, there's like a 25 block radius around me. Uh, more like a 51, if I want to go into the technical, 51 by 51 by 51 cube of bounding boxness around me. That signifies where mobs cannot spawn. There's also a much larger box, which 
uh, encases that one, like maybe 80 or 90 blocks, where mobs will only spawn within that amount. So 25 block radius for want of a better term, and also uh, like an 80 block radius which surrounds that, which says within it. So if you think of it kind of like two concentric circles, oh no, he's using math again, run! Anyways, two concentric circles, kind of like a donut. So if you're eating right now, look at your donut because that's what you're eating. I know it for a fact, fatty. Anyways, so kind of like a donut and it goes around it and within that doughy centerness that's when where mobs can spawn now I'm not an expert I might be wrong I'm probably definitely wrong probably definitely hmm I'm probably wrong but I might not be wrong and I'm building this what I'm trying to get at is pretty much that is over 25 blocks away if you look at it at a bounding box so I am 25 or greater blocks away but the cloud height the maximum height of this is just within that outer edge of that donut so any mob that spawns in this trap well any place in this trap when I am down there will be able to spawn mobs from my understanding I and I wasted cobble oh well so I have one waterway I'm gonna have another waterway so one two three these two are going to be actually in the trap this will be like a tunnel going there to help prevent any light from not coming out now this is the ice plane so I can't put any water outside of that area so I'm gonna have to go five six seven eight I should have probably put my dark matter pickaxe somewhere else while building this because you know losing it would suck at this point okay so I'm thinking that once we finish this layer we're going to have to wait for two things either we wait for night and be lazy about it just waiting for night to happen so that mobs will start spawning or what we can do is actively put a roof on this building so that we'll be able to have mobs spawn well relatively quickly uh, the latter is preferable eventually but we are not at that stage so what we should do is just shut up and keep on building I'll just expand this finish this layer and then I'm thinking we should just bridge out and check on some of the stuff that we will need to complete in the monument and I do not like the looks of that top okay we got a good chunk of this done and we don't really have much more EMC4 building materials so what I think we'll do is just go down again not through this route because it'll be a little uh, extreme can I get that and I lost my cobble uh, see way you're stupid okay going down through the nice safe ladder approach let's uh, actually grab oh that's a small jungle tree okay and wood okay so let's grab a bit more of our smooth stone I think we'll just build everything in smooth stone and try to make it as far out as we possibly can I'm guessing a stack is going to be more than enough but well one wide bridge not exactly the smartest thing to do so we're going to go all the way eventually we'll have it a bit thicker I don't like having it like this so let's get it a bit wider interdiction torches yay woot okay here we are 
Now, obviously, the first challenge is going to be where their story begins. It's purple, and looking at this pyramid, it means that it's at, well, two layers above where we are right now. So here's pink, which is a redstone paradise. And here is purple, or magenta. I have no clue. Where their story begins. It will require a screwdriver, trans table, auto crafting table, iron chest, stone bowl, project table, scoop, torch, and jungle wood block. So let's get back and maybe light this up out a bit so that mobs won't spawn while we're going across. And pretty much what we're going to do as a custom is have everything all of our rewards will go in this one single chest so for instance the jungle wood block starts here and when eventually we add the trans table it will go in here and the project table screwdriver etc 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 will all go into this wooden chest we'll have it like the top row will be the challenge then once we have everything as to avoid confusion we'll just simply throw it in the monument in the meantime, I have some trees to build. Mwahahaha. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Feed the Beast Insanity. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.